everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am loving this lip colour, by the way. Loving it. I thought I would film a quick haul of things that I bought from Beauty Bay and also a bit of a Morphe haul. Um, on my eyes is the Morphe James Charles palette. I have already filmed a video, I'll link it somewhere. I don't know where it goes. So I thought I would quickly show you a haul of what I got on the Beauty Bay sale and then Morphe, so let's just jump in it because so the first thing I got from Beauty Bay was the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner and I got the medium size. This is 236ml. I now pretty much exclusively use my Style Pro for cleaning my brushes. I love it. It has stopped me breaking my back over the sink and I just think it's the best invention since sliced bread or the contraceptive pill or horses like it's just so good and this is the brush cleaner i like using with it it's quite expensive this was in the sale though i think it's 14 pounds down from something else and it's really really good for your style pro so if you don't want to spend for the style pro brush cleaner i really like this one i then picked up the unicorn cosmetics dragon lashes style enchantra enchantra People keep telling me to try these because I love my Coco Lashes Style Goddess, which is what I'm wearing right now. So people kept saying that I would really like these. They're just quite fluttery. They look really nice. I do think I will like them. And these were down to $6.99 in the sale. So I was like, I'll try them when they're on offer. What else did I get? This I didn't get in the sale, but I bought it because I wanted it. It's the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick shade Karma. It's what I'm wearing right now. I really like this colour. It's a like deep, khaki, kind of muddy green. I just think it's beautiful. And also the packaging with that like glitter in it is just so cool. I really like it. So it says this must have been £16, right? So expensive. <laughs> But I really like the Jeffree Star formula. You can also use this as eyeliner and I thought this would be really nice for some autumnal looks as a winged liner instead of black. So I really like that you can use them for two different things. So that's the third thing I got. Um, oh, I got quite a few liquid lipsticks then. I then picked up in the sale, Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in this shade because I think this is going to be such a beautiful winter shade. This is in not i don't know how you pronounce that word n-o-t-t-e and it is this stunning stunning deep burgundy it's gorgeous we do a swatch of it that is it there it's so dark and beautiful i'll swatch karma even though i'm wearing it on my lips the only thing with karma is i don't have a lip liner to match it so i really struggle to get a super neat line which is my my why my lips look terrible but yeah, maybe I should just get like a green eyeliner. And then I picked up, because I'm addicted, a Dose of Colours um, Liquid Lipstick in Extra Saucy. So this one and the Stila one. Oh, so this one and the Stila one, I think they're like between 16 and 18 pounds each. And they were 11 pounds in the sale. This is a red, it just looked beautiful in the swatch online. Oh yeah. I'm really getting my like winter shades now and I love that. It's a really deep true red but like a really really deep one. Oh it's beautiful. I'm gonna enjoy wearing that as well. And I love the formula of the Dose Colours liquid lipsticks. I think I've got four now including this one so I'm kind of getting a wee collection of them. <coughs> Sorry. And then the last thing I picked up from Beauty Bay because I was saving my money on the day that the sale launched I was saving my money for the Morphe launch. So the last thing I picked up was the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. This is my favorite concealer ever. I got the shade Snow, which is so pale. I am wearing it today and it works really well for me. Like you can always like deepen up things if you need to, but it's such a good formula. If they still have this in stock, I would grab one because it's only 11 pounds 80 or something. It's so worth the money. Like all the big beauty YouTubers are raving about it and honestly for good reason. It's so, so good. It's full coverage. It is buttery. It is blendable. It is smooth. It is hydrating. It is everything. 
it has replaced my Urban Decay All Nighter. I know, I know. So then moving into Morphe, the first thing I picked up was the Highlight and Contour Beauty Sponge. I already have the like fat one, this is wet and dirty because I just used it. So I picked up a fresh one and I like the sharp edges, especially for like going around my brows and stuff. It just makes everything a bit easier. So I picked that up because I really like this sponge. It is super soft, super squishy. It's a great sponge. And I think this was eight pounds. So I don't mind paying that for a really good sponge, especially when a beauty blender is like 16 or 18 pounds. It's like so expensive. And then I finally picked up the Continuous Setting Mist. I've never tried this before. In fact, I haven't even used this today because I want to save it for our first impressions that I'm going to film soon. So this is the Continuous Setting Mist Defender Artistry. And it is literally a continuous spray. I don't want to like waste it. So it's just like a continuous spray, as you can imagine by the name. Um, that smells really nice. But I know a lot of beauty YouTubers rave about this as well. And I know a lot of them have Morphe affiliate codes, which could be the reason they rave about it, but we'll see. It's £15, quite expensive, but I'm excited to try it. You get 82.8 mils in there, so I don't imagine that would last me very long. I would have to really love it to repurchase it, to be honest. Then I picked up the 8L Lo-Fi Sculpt and Shimmer Palette. I've wanted to try this for a while since I saw it on their site and on Instagram. You get a massive mirror and then inside you get like four contour and bronze shades and then four highlights. These highlights are so pretty. Um, let me show you them on my kind of grubby fingers. That is the four shades there. They don't look like the most blinding highlights in the world but I think they'll be quite nice with a wet brush. Like they look pretty good. No, like I think they look pretty nice. Yeah, I'm excited to play with them more. I did use this a bit today. I used this shade mixed with this shade to contour and I really, really liked it. This palette was 25 pounds. So pretty expensive, um, but so far I really enjoyed using it today. Um, I was going to get the James Charles palette and the brushes. And when I saw that was pretty much £200, I thought, okay, I could get the James Charles palette and the brushes, or I could get the James Charles palette and a bunch of other stuff, and I would rather get a bunch of other stuff. You know what I mean? So that's why I didn't get the James Charles brushes, but I did buy the Morphe Grand Master Brush Collection. I've wanted this since I saw it so badly, because I think the brushes are so beautiful to look at. They've got this, like, you know, old gold, black handle, nice like cream bristles. This box set was, I think it's £69. So very expensive, but you get 20 brushes. I have used a lot of them today, so excuse the fact that they are dirty. But 20 brushes, £70 expensive, but better value than you can get from Zoeva. Their brush sets tend to be more expensive for less brushes. And the Morphe brushes that I've tried in the past are incredibly good quality. These are something I would highly recommend for a Christmas present for someone. Like if, if you've got a kind of person that you would spend £70 on, you know they love makeup, maybe they want to expand their collection or get more brushes, honestly have a look at these. There's some great shapes in here. So you've got like a angled um, blush brush. I would use that for a really nice contour brush. I use this big one for bronzer today. I actually used this one for blush. Um, there's a foundation buffing brush, another kind of mid-sized wood brush, a perfect highlighting brush like this was so good for highlighting today. And then this kind of like chubby, I think it's a concealer brush. I This is the only one set I wouldn't use. And then you get three, four, five, six, seven, nine to 12 eyeshadow brushes and these were phenomenal today i really liked them this like flattish brush was incredible for going under my eyes got really nice big fluffy ones more fluffy ones more fluffy ones this little one is perfect for detail buffing some great under eye inner corner 
spoolie brushes like with an angled brush on the end these brushes were phenomenal i don't want to talk about them too much more but honestly if you've got 70 pounds to spend and you want a good brush set would highly recommend these i've not washed them to see how much they kind of shed they didn't shed on my first use of them and it's normal for brushes to shed a little bit anyway so yeah i've not tested that but i find morphe brushes really good quality the ones i've tried anyway moving on then i got the out and a pout bear babe lip trio and in here you get a lip liner a lipstick and a lip gloss and online this looks really pale and you know me love a pale nude but this is way darker than i was expecting it's not super dark but it is darker than i was expecting this was 18 pounds so you get a lip liner which is really good it's really long oh where did i put the thing there's it there yeah, it's a really long lip liner in a nude shade you get this lip gloss i think this is lip gloss not liquid lipstick yeah i'm pretty sure it's lip gloss yeah and this is in the shade flower crown the lip liner is in backest love backest love backseat love <laughs> and then this is the lipstick in wifey but it's a lot darker than I was expecting it to be. That is a colour I would never pick up ever in a million years. It just, I just don't like this colour of lipstick. So I'm not even going to touch this set. I'm just going to wrap it back up and put it in for my next giveaway. Because I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to send it back or anything. I'm sure in the UK I just can't send any makeup back. Unless it's like outrageously broken. And then, of course, the last thing I got was the James Charles Artistry palette. Now, I am not a sister. I am not really even a follower of James Charles. I, I see him pop up a lot on the Explore page, and I do really like his makeup. But he's not someone like I follow religiously or anything. I just wanted this palette because I love bright colours. It's absolutely ginormous. It's really nice. I'm of course wearing it on my eyes oh, right now. It comes with one of the sheets with names on it. I hate this. I hate that they haven't printed it on the palette. Oh, I just dug my nail on it. But this is what it looks like. You'll all have seen it by now. Bright, bold, neutrals, deeps, not deeps. It's got everything in it. It's gorgeous. Um, if you want to see my like full thing on it, then you should go and watch that video it's incredible really like the quality it's probably still out of stock but would recommend picking it up if you can to be honest that's it not the not the biggest haul but i spent like a good you know 250 bucks doesn't look like that much when you have it in front of you but yeah i'm pretty pleased with my um like sale items from beauty bay and then my morphe haul i'm really excited about it because i just I want to play with it all. Those lip colours are just fantastic. That dose of colours one especially is calling my name. So yeah, that is everything I got in my Beauty Bay haul. I may have another order coming. Sorry. Um, we all make mistakes. Um, and if it's big enough, maybe I'll include it in another haul video um, with some PR stuff. I don't like including PR in my like what I bought hauls. Because I want you to know that I did spend my hard earned money on this stuff. It's not free or anything. I wish it was free. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what you bought in the haul. In the haul? In the sale? In the beauty base sale? That's what I'm trying to say. Or if you also managed to snag one of the James Charles palettes before it sold out in less than five minutes. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Go watch this video if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.